Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, just to preface this, this is not a sponsored video by any means, but I get a lot of questions about scissors. So, I just ordered this brand new pair of LDH scissors, so I thought we should do a little bit of an unboxing, and I will tell you more about them. All right, so how did I hear about LDH scissors? I think I was, I think I actually figured it out just on Google, to be honest. And then I was really excited because I'm always searching for stuff that's in Canada. Um, I was really excited to see that these are designed in Canada. So this company started in 1990, just outside of Hong Kong, China, um, by a young couple who just wanted better scissors and then their son and his wife in 2018 brought the company to Canada and they are now completely designed in Canada and made still just outside of Hong Kong. So what's really great about them is they are a very affordable option. Um, these were only $45 Canadian, which is about $34 US. So they're very affordable. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to show you them. Um, and yeah, they, I love this branding going on. We've got like the craft paper with the black kind of paper box. And I just really love that. It kind of gives me vintage vibes and that's what I'm into. So when I was looking for a new pair of scissors, I was really looking for three things. I wanted something that was pretty because I don't know, you guys have seen my scissors in my photos a lot. I wanted something that was good quality and sharp. And I also wanted something that wasn't like hundreds of dollars. And so this fit those things exactly. Another thing I wanted to mention, LDH stands for love, dedication, and happiness, which I think is just such a sweet sentiment. So without further ado, let's open these up. So on the underside of the box, you have a little bit of information there, which I'll tell you more about and just like a little info card that comes inside. And then we have like the most beautiful pair of scissors. Um, I've already wiped the grease off of these, which I'll tell you more about later. Um, just so you know, they will come, if you get this exact pair, they will come with like oil and grease on them. We've got the little outer package here. And then we have, I mean, they're just so, so pretty. I love that they're all black. I love that this is gold and not silver. I think it's really beautiful. Um, and I wanna tell you a few technical things about them and then a few reasons why I like them more than my previous scissors. So these are actually not stainless steel. They do sell stainless steel scissors as well, but I opted for the carbon steel. And the difference with carbon steel, it's a little bit lighter. And these are, my other scissors were also um, eight inch fabric shears. And so I could compare them with the weight. And I these are noticeably lighter, which I love because when you're cutting fringe, your hand is kind of in the air. So I really like them to be lighter. Whereas when you're working with fabric, you might want them nice and heavy because you're going along the table. So carbon steel is also a bit softer than stainless steel. So they're less prone to chipping. Um, they are a little bit softer of a metal, like I said, so they are easier to sharpen and you can get a finer sharpen on them. So those are a few of the benefits. One of the cons to carbon steel versus stainless steel is that these are prone to rust, which is why they come, like I promised, they came with grease all over them because that's gonna help prevent the rust from building up. They do have this, this black coating is like an anti-rust coating, but they do recommend that if you're going to not use these scissors for a while, that you're going to want to put some like sewing machine oil on them, put them back in the box, and store them in the closed box just to prevent that rusting. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue for me. I live in a very dry climate, so I'm not too concerned about that. But if you do live in a more humid climate and you want the carbon steel, that's a way to kind of um, counteract it. So a few other things that I love about these. Again, I love the eight inch. They're not super huge, which I don't need. But what I really love is that this part where your hand goes in on my other scissors, if I want all four of my fingers in there, it's like this, it's like super cramped and that always drives me insane. These ones, and I have fairly small hands, but these ones like 
I have tons of space, so I can actually get my whole hand in the scissors. My thumb feels really nice in there because they have like this nice slanted um, area for your thumb. And they just feel really, really good. Um, another thing when looking for a good quality pair of scissors, you can see right here, can you see my hand through this crack? Um, you actually don't want your scissors to be perfectly straight. They should have a bit of a curve so that when the blades um, touch each other, they're actually touching each other. They glide and touch each other. And then once they're completely closed, you can see that space between. So they're really tight where the blades meet and they're looser on the other ends, if that makes sense. So that's another thing that makes them a better quality scissor. And they also have this beautiful hardware. I mean, it's pretty, but it also, I like this bolt system. My other scissors have like a screw instead of a bolt. And what I find with them is that as I'm cutting, the screw just comes loose. And that's really frustrating and annoying, obviously. Um, there are things that you can do to tighten it up better, but I've just never gotten around to do that. And frankly, it was time for me to get a new pair because I had those for quite a while and I have dropped them a few times, unfortunately. So, so yeah, I thought we would do a little cut test because I watched actually a, a review on these and the person never cut and I was like, I wanna see them in action. So we're gonna go with fabric first just because, um, I mean, if it can cut through some fabric really well, it can definitely cut through some yarn. So let's just give this a go. Oh, and okay, let's pause. We need to do some like scissors ASMR right now. So here we go. Okay, that is the sound your scissors should make. And that's kind of where that whole, the blades meeting thing comes into play. But here we go. Okay, so that was my first time cutting fabric with these and that was, that was lovely. This is just a scrap piece. So they just feel like you can really feel the blades are really tight around it and it just cuts really smoothly. And that sound, that's a good sound. So I mean, they get points just for good sound. <laughs> so now I'm gonna cut some yarn and actually let's cut some cotton rope because we know cotton rope is a little bit tougher, but like that just glides right through that. And that's like a really clean cut. So that's good news. And I did cut some yarn with them earlier and it cuts really nicely. I will probably do an update video at some point where I'm actually cutting some fringe, but I mean, just look at this. Like I barely have to press down and it cuts really smoothly. Again, it's giving me a really, really clean cut. So that means they're nice and sharp. Overall, I am extremely happy with this purchase. Um, like I said, I've barely used them. I already love them and I can tell, especially with that carbon steel, just having the lighter is gonna be nice. I mean, just, they're pretty. Can, can you guys just like nerd out a little bit with me about how pretty these scissors are? That was probably my favorite part, other than them actually being functional because you know, a good pretty pair of scissors is useless if they don't cut well, but anyway. So like I said, this is not in any way sponsored. They didn't give these to me, I bought them myself. Um, but I just get so many questions about what scissors I use and what scissors I love. And so far so good with these. I will do an update of course, but if you want to check them out and get your own pair, you can check them out at ldhscissors.ca. Um, there's also lots of other smaller shops that sell them, but that's going to be your best resource to see all the different scissors that they offer. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. But wait, there's more. <sighs> Okay, so something I need to talk to you about is the big project I've been alluding to for several episodes of the vlog, um, and that is that, drum roll please, the river weaving course is almost done, and it is set to launch on September 30th. Um, make sure you stay tuned because I might do a pre-sale, we'll see. 
September 30th is for sure the day that the whole course is gonna go live. Um, I am uploading the chapters as we speak and it basically is going to take you from start to finish in lots of detail how to make one of my original pieces of art, the river weaving. So if you haven't been around for that long, I actually talked about this a few months ago um, and then I kind of just like went silent about it because I knew that it was gonna take me longer than I thought it would and so I didn't wanna put myself on a time crunch just because with the Etsy shop, you know, I never really know for sure how many orders are coming in, so I needed to be really available to the Etsy shop. But then someone ordered a river weaving, and so I was like, all right, here we go. And I fill into the whole thing, like I said, in full detail. I tell you the exact yarns that I use. Um, I explain everything. I, I teach you in detail how to hang it on that special piece of wood. I tell you what that's called. I tell you some other alternatives you can use if you don't have access to that. Um, because I really want this to be a project that you can accomplish even if you can't get the exact materials and wood and all of that stuff that I use. So it's a pretty detailed course. It's um, two and a half hours long of video footage. Some of that is speed ramped. So we actually took 11 hours of footage because things take like longer. That's like twice as long as the weaving actually takes me. But when you're filming um, and explaining things, everything takes a lot longer. So yeah, this is a highly detailed, I'm calling it an intermediate course. So you should be comfortable and confident with all the basics like warping and getting even tension, um, raya knots, plain weave, twining, um, sumac, and all of those things, cutting fringe. Um, you should be comfortable and confident with those things if you wanna take the course. I just wanna be really transparent about that because this isn't, um, I'm not necessarily spending much time at all teaching those things within this course. It's more about how to create this weaving, what materials and the steps that it takes to do it. So it also includes a PDF downloadable pattern so that you can really get it as close as mine as you want it to be. You could create your own pattern too and just kind of follow um, the different ways that I'm doing things, I guess. But yeah, I am extremely excited. This has been a long time coming. Um, it's in the same high quality video that you guys are used to seeing here on the YouTube channel. We filmed it all here in our little film studio. Um, so it's gonna be really awesome. It also is going to come with a private Facebook group for students only. So that's going to give you like more access to me so that if you have any questions at all, I can be in there and I can answer them. Um, and I just want to communicate how rare a program like this is because a course like this is because um, most artists obviously aren't going to share with you exactly how they make their own original work so that's where I'm coming in and doing something a little different where I'm like literally giving you everything so if that's something that interests you and you're excited about it make sure that you get on my email list at spruceandlinen.com there's a little um, email sign up form at the bottom of the first page, maybe it's in the middle. It's on that first homepage at spruceandlinen.com. So get on my email list and that will just ensure that when I send out the email that it is live that you won't miss it because sometimes these things could get missed on social media. And yeah, it's gonna be a really fantastic time, you guys. And it is self-guided, so there isn't there isn't any sort of time limit on it. Um, it's it's a really a work as you go at your own pace kind of thing. Um, like I said, I want to bring all the students into this private Facebook group so that not only can you meet other weavers and you can connect and help each other, but then I will also be in there um, helping you guys as well. So anyone who's kind of wanted closer access to me and my assistants with their weaving, this is the place for that. And this is going to be the only place that I share how to hang those weavings. It's a very special way. And it's kind of a technique that I've developed over doing these several times. I don't know how many I've made, but at this point, it's almost 10 pieces like this I've made. So each time I was able to kind of just get better and better and figure out better strategies to hang them. So anyway, this is very long winded, but I just wanted to let you guys know and um, all the information, including the price and all that great stuff will be available very soon. 
and there will be a link in the description box below for my website and when the course is ready to go you will find it on my website so anyway thanks so much for watching you guys see you next time